going on SBR? This is another cooking video, Cougar Bait number five here. Uh, we're going to do some hamburgers. These are actually uh, Pepper Jack Salsa Burgers. And I'll uh, we'll start with the veggies. we got zucchini there, red peppers, that's Boston lettuce, onion. We're going to saute it. Uh, obviously not the lettuce. So we're right, going to add some basil here. Pot. Uh, this will make your veggies taste a little bit better. And it's not that expensive, it's like four bucks for a jar of that. It really improves the taste of your vegetables. All right, here we go. This is no exact science. Just kind of do whatever, cayenne pepper, oregano. This is ground oregano, but you can use oregano leaves. It doesn't make any difference. Um, there's probably a slight difference. But there's basil. And I'm gonna add some garlic here. This is freeze-dried garlic, and it's actually it's actually really good. This is a good company, this Lighthouse Company. They make a lot of good stuff. Um, it's basically as good as fresh. It's not It's not going to be as good as if you have organic garlic from a garden, but uh, essentially it's not bad. It's good for cooking. Okay, you're supposed to use about a cup of here, a cup of cheese. Um, I don't really measure it, but that, that looks to be about right. Now you're going to go ahead and mix up and make the patties. Okay, there's really no good way to show you how to do this, but this is about the best I can figure. Um, just mix it up. Very fucking simple. Any degenerate gambler can do this shit. Even you, Lion Eye. Even you can fucking do it. Uh, baby, I'm getting to the video that I want to make, but it's just not going to happen this weekend. I want to make you a uh, traditional Greek, uh, traditional Greek dish. I'm still debating what to make, but uh, it's in the works. It's in the works. So you're just gonna roll these patties just like you would any any other hamburger patty. Just roll it in your hand. Make it flat, as flat as you can. You know, something like that. And it's pretty nice here today. Finally got a decent day. I think it's about 45, 46 degrees. I know some of you guys live in fucking Florida and California like a lion eye. You fuck. You get good weather all the time. We miss out on good weather like five, six months a year, so... This kind of shit, we get excited here in the Midwest. It's amazing. Oh, I forgot, JJ, yeah, I'm in, I'm in Texas, I'm sorry. Sometimes I can't remember where I live. Oh. Anyway, today my plays are Baylor, minus three. Um... They're looking pretty good. I think it's, half, it's about halftime right now. The score is still pretty close, though, which kind of makes me nervous. But um, I'm actually just kind of following Brock on that one. He liked it a lot. Rubber band plays. I think they hit they hit over 80 percent, something like that. 80, 85 percent. So uh, I'm gonna roll with Brock on that Baylor play. And uh, my my only other play tonight is St. Louis. I have absolutely no idea why they're getting 12 points, 11 and a half, 12 points at uh, at Dayton. I mean, I know Dayton essentially is a home team, but I don't see them winning by that many, so those are my plays. Another good trick, I don't know if you guys know this when you're making burgers, but put a thumbprint right in the middle, and uh, that will help your burger cook. You'd be surprised. It won't blow up like a fucking meatball. You know how sometimes you'll be cooking burgers. You go over to your parents' house, your dad will be cooking burgers, he'll get them all set up, ready to go. They'll come out and they'll look like fucking meatballs. Well, for whatever reason, when you put that thumbprint in the middle, it makes the burger cook a little more evenly. I'm sure there's some sort of actual reason. I don't really know what it is, but. All right, there's the grill. Uh, it's been a while since it's been out. I went ahead and turned the gas on. It's pretty dirty, but. Uh, that's alright, a lot of that will burn away. Turn it on high and ignite it. And we'll come back to that in a little bit. Alright, I got them all on there. And uh, see how it goes. Hopefully they turn. Right, as you can see, those are all ready to go. The saute is ready to go. And uh, I've got some... These are buns from Pinnons, and uh, that's the place where I go to get all my meat. Uh, you got to go to a meat market. In fact, find a meat market with a bakery in it if you can. This place does their own baking as well. Um, bread and the meat is half the product, so you gotta start there. Alright, so let's build this thing. Alright, here we go. Start with some Boston lettuce. And you can do this. Whatever method you want to build your burger, go ahead and do it. Whatever you want. 
as long as you got the ingredients right, and uh, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Then we go to tomatoes, and that's at the point at which I go burger. Like I said, do it whatever way you want, but this is just the way I do it. And pepper jack cheese is essential. Got to have the pepper jack cheese. And go ahead and add some onions, peppers, that's red peppers, zucchini, and grilled onions. And it's falling all over the place. But if you're going to build a good burger, it's got to be messy. It's got to be a fucking disaster when you're done with it. You know what I mean? And uh, then I add the salsa right on top. And you don't have to go crazy with it, but just enough so that you don't need mayo or anything else. Anyway, there you go. That's the cougar burger right there. And the top, that's the buttered top right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it's a profitable day. And uh, have fun and good luck making this. Alright, SVR. Well, that's that. Uh, I went ahead and finished off those fucking burgers. And I have to admit, towards the end there, I was pretty much sucking wind. Um, it was not easy. So... Uh, the rest of them will go in the refrigerator. I just wanted to go ahead and end this video off with uh, a few shout outs. Uh, a couple of guys. Uh, Wall, I like the fact that you're back in the video business, man. Keep it up. Paco, my brother, Eli and I. Uh, Oral, Oral Gay, is that what it is? Oral Gay? Oral, Oral Gay? Is it Oral Gay or Oral Gay? Somebody needs to fill me in. Uh, has it, well, first of all, has anybody decided to figure out what the fuck that means? Uh, do we know? Do we have any idea? Uh, Brock Landers. Brock Landers, it's looking pretty fucking good, pal. It's looking pretty good right now, Brock Landers. Um, rubber band play looks like it's going to fucking hit, so... Pretty excited about that. And uh, I was on with you, buddy, so... Right now it looks good. Five and a half, five and a half minutes left, uh, Baylor's up 11, so hopefully they can hang on and win by more than three. JJ Gold awarded me poster of the month. I was pretty fucking psyched about it. Um, you know, now he said last year towards the end of the year that I was actually in the running for poster of the year, although I don't really understand how. I really only came over to Players Talk kind of towards the end there. But uh, he was right. I won one award. So it's uh, SBR John won and uh, Cougar Bait won. And uh, Bobby, Bobby's making some videos. Bobby, he's. Bobby Fuck? Is it is it Bobby FK or Bobby Fuck? Because I like calling you Bobby Fuck. I don't really know why. Um, make a Velcro video, Bobby. Everybody's waiting for it. Um, that's your that's your winner. Actually, you should save the Velcro video. See, there's a strategy to this. You got to save you got to save the Velcro video. You got to plan it all month and uh, push it on SBR right at the end. You know? Pico's Bill, Pico's Bill, whose uh, face looks like a fucking English muffin. Uh, looks like he finally got a picture. I'm not sure what good that is. Um, I guess to prove to everybody that he's seeing somebody. I don't know why. I think we. I think I believe everything every poster says. So I never have a problem believing posters. Picos Bill, I think you're a little sensitive, but uh, I do just run with it, man. Just fucking run with it, dude. You know, if she's gonna give it up, let her give it up, and uh, don't worry about proving nothing to anybody. Give me a BJ, uh, you're my boy, I like you BJ, I like your posts, I like your pics, I don't know how you've been doing, I haven't been keeping track, uh, I've had a little slow, I've had a little lull the last couple days, well yesterday I didn't play anything, so, uh, being out of town and all, but anyway, this video is dragging on and on, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here, I'm sure there are some guys I missed, uh, do not feel bad if I missed you, and if you guys want to shout out in the next cooking vid, all you got to do is post. So, uh, good luck to you, Brock. Hopefully you fucking pick a winner here. And uh, SBR, signing off. Cougar bait. Ciao.